do you remember a song by James Brown called Bad Mother? Well, well, this is a big mother. It's, uh, it's massive. Uh, the only way you can get on is by doing basically a roundhouse kick, um, which is like so. It's uh, a heavy so-and-so. I'm fairly tall. My feet are just touching the ground, basically. You can get a lowering kit, you can get a lowered seat, and you can get a lowered spring. So if I was keeping that, that's what I'd have to get. Having said that, the guy we took it off was a giant, <laughs> so it was, it was okay for him. But what we've got, got the screen on the front, the extended screen as well. Again, that, that just the top screen slightly gets in my way. It's just in my line of sight, but not horrendous. It's electric start. It has a quick shift, heated grips. We've got the LED front driving lamps. Uh, kind of keep you safe, make sure everybody notices you come in. The, the bike is absolutely mint. It's got the, let's just see if I can get off. Oh, <laughs> well, believe me, the older I get, the harder to do that it is. It's got the Rugged Roads Adventure Motorbike um, chain guard. It's also got the lower chain guard underneath there. It, it, it really is just mint. It's got the scuff, the belly panel, the engine bars and the uh, tank protector, these hand, or the plastic hand. And usually, you know, there's no scuffs on it whatsoever. It's lovely. That's the extended screen there. Your lamps are here, um, twin discs on the front, the gold wheels, it's got stainless steel spokes and each spoke has a plastic cover. It's got this X-Tech um, exhaust. It sounds fantastic. It drives great, to be honest, too. Uh, I'm going to take you for a ride in it, but obviously I'll, I'll, I'll get my kit on first. Now, <laughs> full disclosure, I've not been on a bike for a couple of years, so uh, I'm probably out of practice and this is probably the wrong bike for me to start. So uh, I'm going to be being as careful as possible and uh, I won't be putting it through his paces, let me put it that way, and I won't be going off road. This, this bike's never been off road, it's mint. Uh, lovely, lovely bike. So, electric start there. That's the, you can change these for being off road, touring. Let's say that's a road. Indicators. And away we go. You can see the, the visor is just in my eye line. Just get my mirror set up. Lovely bike. Easy to get carried away on. Nice and easy to lean over.
sorry. Easy to speed as well. Although I think it's 40 along this road. I mean, it's a big bike, but once you get it going, then uh, you're absolutely fine. Very well balanced. I, I prefer, like anything, when I'm driving a car, I prefer to sit further back. Um, unfortunately, on this bike, I can't, because if I do, I can't touch the floor. I, I would definitely have to get the lowering kit if I was to do any any distance in this at all. Let's just make sure we're not going too fast here. Quite a bumpy road. Nice gear change. It has got the quick shift on it, so if I just touch the pedal, like so, it, it blips the throttle. But I, I prefer to use the clutch myself. just try and time it right here so nobody pulls out on me It has so much grunt. But, uh, and also with the quick shift, when I'm preparing to change gear and I touch the pedal, ready to touch the clutch, I'll pull the clutch in, the quick shifter blips the throttle, so you might have heard a couple of uh, <laughs> not very good gear changes, or what sounded like not very good gear changes. But that's the quick shift. Andy Ball, our local plumber is behind me Forty nine, that's uh, that's good. It's a great bike now. I'm I'm getting into the stride. Back in the saddle.
Around here is the uh, the worst place for motorbikes ever. It's a great road. There's a lot of people come speeding up here, but unfortunately, there's a lot of slow lorries coming out of here. So the long wagons pull out of there, and unfortunately, the bikes are going too fast here. So. Uh, not a good mix. I'm not sure what the video is going to be like on this. There's very few places to attach a GoPro. But uh, we'll see. Sixty is fast enough for me today. The throttle is so responsive that you go over a bump and just like so, <laughs> and you're away. This is a nice chicane. Unfortunately, quite a lot of times you'll meet somebody coming the other way. With, uh, the, the rebound isn't set up correctly for me. I have to say, I don't feel as invincible on a bike as I used to. <laughs> That's uh, obviously down to age. And uh, a couple of folds on my snowboard that 
hurt a lot more than they, they used to when I was younger. We're just kind of chugging along here. I'm always conscious of uh, people with trailers just basically bringing stuff along here, not knowing the address, and then just slamming on. Don't help this camera flipping keep moving at front. like so. Got a big wagon behind me as well. I don't particularly fancy doing a berry sandwich between that VW and this wagon behind me. Good plate there. So anyway, that's that's about it. All I can tell you about this bike is it's absolutely beautiful. If there are any marks on it, they are tiny. It's done 2,921 miles now. Uh, it's just it's just plodding just ticking over <laughs>